Did you guys watch the latest I episode? Did. Lesbo love don't hit like gay love, bro. <laughs> I mean that for real. The lesbo love don't hit the same, right? Yeah, it didn't hit as hard, for sure. You I think- was gay during that episode three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm looking at my wife like, will we ever have this? That thing? happiness? You know what I mean? Will we yeah. ever be this in love with one another? But yeah. the lesbo love... Yeah. I was not buying it. Well, I'm glad because they're like high school age, so I'm glad you weren't really Yeah, maybe you just it. don't like kids yeah. romantically being affiliated. Huh. That's a very good way to spin this. Yeah. You're trying to say I'm not a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're yeah. trying yeah. to get at sure, right sure. here? Yeah. Damn, you be roasting me, bro. I know, bro. <laughs> and he's trying hard. He's got the mustache. He's like, whatever I got to oh, do, I got to do it. Where they at? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I think, because it was weird. They're both great actresses. I love that girl in, the, in Euphoria. Yeah. yeah. That's the guy's little sister in Euphoria. Yeah. And I love the girl that plays Ellie. Yeah. She's unbelievable. And they have good chemistry. And they had good chemistry. Yeah. But it was like, uh, I, you just see it too much. I it. need but <laughs> I think I need it. I think I need like though when it was chest to chest with the dudes and the the hairs yeah, and the then hairs. all yeah, yeah, yeah. tangled and shit. It's more visceral, you know. Yeah. Yeah, lesbian love is just like oh, you see that at the it's club. Cute. Two girls kissing. It's like yeah, you're trying to get my attention. Two guys kissing? Oh, you mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're stakes. way more committed when you go gay as a man yeah, than gay as a woman. Gay as a woman, I can That's be in a, a phase, relationship, bro. go marry a guy, nothing. <laughs> I was in gay an arcade, a I got distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Gay as a man in a phase. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. No, that's a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You will yeah, live yeah. with that motherfucker. Yeah, it's an anal tattoo. A hundred percent. percent. Yeah, so I don't know. It was just like, I think they tried to create that, you know, alternative... Um, you know, storyline, this beautiful little love sequence, and um, yeah, we were t- briefly talking about the last bro, one. Bro, I've been playing the game Last of Us. I don't you got the second one. Shit. I, I, yeah, I started playing the second one. <laughs> this guy has no self control. Uh, no, I no did have self control for about a week. <laughs> bro, that's I, not self control. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I, I don't want to give away too much, but like, you got to play as girls in the second one, right? Uh, you got to play these two, not only just girls, like they in love, like lesbian girls. The ones from the episode. Again? I'm not gonna say who's it, who it is, uh, but like not, nobody's straight on this show, I think. Yeah, but, but nobody. I'm cares. playing this Just game, but the up. game is so fire. This has got to be what it was like, like being white when black people started playing sports. Uh, but like for your team, yeah. Where it's just like, like Shane Gillis sketch. You seen the? No, what is it? He has about the first the head coach who has an integrated team, yeah. and he's like really against it. And then as the team keeps winning with the black people, they're yeah. like, dude, these guys are the best. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just it. So you you going through the emotion where you're just like, where you're like, ugh, they're putting together this fucking story and jamming everything into this. I mean, they managed to jam Holocaust into the fucking Last of Us story. You like randomly in, in part two. You like randomly go to like a what is it called a Jewish temple, and like oh, yeah. one of the girls is Jewish and she's like, oh, I remember this place. And he goes, oh, you know, it just it, it, you know, this reminds me of like what my people have been through, you know. And then and then the girl Ellie is just like, well, what do you mean, like, you know? <laughs> and then she's like, well, what do you mean? I mean, the Inquisition, the Holocaust, and now this fungus. It's like we're constantly just moving and being eradicated. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening right now? The fungus would kill the Jews the fastest, though. You have to be honest. I don't know. I, okay, just immune system wise, like it's just like a nightmare in there. You know what I mean? Like the fungus, I think, gets them out of here. I, yeah. I know who they would blame the fungus on. The uh, Jews. Wait, who? The Ooh. Jews. They blame everything on them. That's the first person they're blaming it on. It's oh, the Jews somehow. That's a good point, actually. I don't know how, yeah. but it's the Jews. That's we don't true. talk about I that. Even, I would have went Asia. Yeah, I mean, it literally came out of what. The Vietnam? How racist yeah. have you, Al? To I'm think that a saying. pandemic started in Asia in a lab. How, yeah. how racist is <laughs> that? Yeah, that is kind of racist. racist. That's yeah. so my racist. Bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to tell you guys too much about that other thing. But um, that is a little bit how I felt initially with this episode where it was like, I felt like they were, they already had a gay storyline. And now I felt like we were revisiting a similar thing where you're like getting us used to something that's, we're normalizing something we're not used to. And yeah. like, that was kind of what was powerful the first time with the dudes. Yeah. And now it's like, yeah, but we've been there. Yeah. I would rather have seen like, oh, this is teenage female friendship in a way that's fun and you don't often see depicted on TV. Yeah. Normally it's guys hanging out, shitting on each other, whatever. You don't often see the female point of view of that, which is like these girls who are teasing each other, having fun, whatever. Mm. And then I thought actually the love story took away from that a little bit. Mm. And she kills Shorty, huh? Uh, I think is how it goes, yeah. Because she alludes to it. Yeah. Remember when she's- Earlier episode. She's she's like, I've done it once before. Yeah. Is that your first time killing someone? She's like, no, I've done it once before. So I think she has to kill her best friend. Yeah. But you played the game, so you know what happens. 
I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, I feel like you already just ruined it. But I don't want to ruin it for you. I feel like you just did ruin it. <laughs> I mean, I do want to ruin it. Actually, I think you already badly. ruined it. You just said she I, kills who? I don't know. Who kills who? Someone. No, I'm saying she back hasn't, in, he hasn't. Oh yeah, you don't have the fucking show. Why do we talk to him? I love, him, uh, I love that part. <laughs> you get like a good five minutes in every time until he realizes. <laughs> he just explains because he <laughs> want to be part of the fun. But I did and like that part. I do that too. It's all good. I agree. I <laughs> must of us. It's, it's been making your thumbs. What do you think of the actual episode? Besides the gay thing, didn't hit as hard. I thought it was. I mean, the episode. They're great. They're fucking brilliant. Everything works. I think what I'm more curious about is you know let's progress this storyline. Yeah, you know what I mean, because you have to understand, they stopped the episode, and we don't know if my man Joel is going to be okay or not. Yeah, and I care more about Joel being okay than I care about their lesbian love. I think you get the sign he's going to be okay when she starts stitching him up. That's feel, like okay, she saved him, but well, we got to wait the whole ep for that. Yeah, think about it took that. an hour exactly, and he was dying at the last hour exactly. So you took a whole hour. I just thought it was almost like a filler episode. She brought up a great point. He was like, "Yo, if you want to tell the story, great, but like." Show us what Fedra's doing that's so fucked up. There's this entire world you're not really showing us. Mm. Like, what's actually happening that the Fireflies feel like they need to have an uprising? Yeah. Or, yeah, what is Fedra doing? They were clearing out communities. Who were they killing? Who were they whatever? I think There's it's, so much more to explore there. I think it's like um, they're using Fedra as, like, the perfect example of government overreach. Yes. In an extreme time. Yes. Right? And like, you know, some people look at what happened with the pandemic and they'll be like, well, you see what happened was there a when there's a pandemic, the government steps up and says, hey, you got to stay inside. You can't go outside. You can't work. You can't provide for yourself. This is the extreme version mm -hmm. of that. So whereas Fedra is probably thinking, hey, listen, we're keeping these people safe. Without us, they're just a bunch of animals out there killing each other. Yeah. There's one thing that we have to do is, you know, enforce some rules and it sucks that we got to take out some people. We're holding society together. Yeah. Which is what government always thinks and they felt during the pandemic. But I agree. The game doesn't really show that either. You just got to kind of like take it, uh, take their word for it. Take, yeah, take a yeah. face value that they are an abusive governmental system that was put in place right after yeah. this, you know, yeah, I, global pandemic. I just wish we didn't have to fill in those gaps ourselves. Yeah. And the show will diverge from the game. Because like Thunder don't seem that bad in the show. No. You're like, all right, this Long kind of quarantine zone duty. is pretty good. Yeah. Even sewage duty, it's like people do that. Now. That's a real job, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, there are people that clean out the sewage. <laughs> Fair enough. Right? Like, it's not like this is a new job like that was invented afterwards. <laughs> also, way less doo-doo. Yeah, it's a good point. It's a fraction of the doo-doo. It's mm. <laughs> a good point. Like, the girl said, I'm going to join a terrorist organization so I don't clean up shit. You spoiled little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, like she got relegated to doo-doo duty, and then she was like, I got to kill people. Yeah. She would rather murder soldiers than clean up shit. Yeah, yeah. That's spoiled, bro. Nah, I think I'm going that route too, bro. You think? Yeah, I don't want to deal with shit. I'm not trying to ruin his fits, yo. Yeah. Yeah, 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 He literally did do that when he was a nurse. He was like, I'm not cleaning up shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I used to flirt with girls in the class and get them to do it for me. This is consistent. Yeah. Wait, why would you have to clean up? You have to wipe them afterwards. Yeah, like uh, older patients that are, they just a can't A nurse is like a them. doctor's janitor. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah, pretty much is. Yeah. How thorough would you wipe? 